Science fiction is one of the most popular genres in cinema. However, films like Fritz Lang's Metropolis aren't always easy to sit through, and Christopher Nolan's Inception can be too confusing to fully enjoy. But there are some sci-fi movies that are so fascinating and stunning, and feel absolutely perfect from start to finish. Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange is a dark yet largely accurate adaptation of Anthony Burgess's 1962 novel. The movie's depiction of murder and sexual violence stirred so much controversy and backlash that Kubrick actually pulled it from theaters himself, a one-of-a-kind theatrical run for a one-of-a-kind movie. Though its perspective on free will isn't very optimistic, it's undeniably impactful and thought-provoking, ensuring the film's legacy as a perfect entry into the sci-fi genre. Made seven years after its predecessor, this sequel changes the approach from horror thriller to blockbuster action. James Cameron has directed some great movies, but Terminator 2, Judgment Day, is probably his best work, with amazing action sequences and special effects that still somehow look good today. Terminator 2 has a big heart as well, not to mention an important yet apparently unheeded message about the dangers of artificial intelligence. With a good sense of humor and potent music to boot, the film is the epitome of sci-fi action. One of the greatest sequels of all time, The Empire Strikes Back, took the Star Wars saga into darker, more intense territory. The sequel ends on a note where circumstances are both unresolved and as bleak as ever, yet it still works. How? The characters have all gone through satisfying emotional arcs, and the plot has left them in circumstances where they need to regroup. A successful expansion of the fascinating world building and a heightened sense of danger helps The Empire Strikes Back become superior to its legendary predecessor. Alexi German proves that a perfect science fiction movie doesn't require any of the hallmarks of popular sci-fi narratives. Most of the spare dialogue in Hard to Be a God is non sequiturs, the special effects mercilessly depict a disgusting medieval hellscape, and the camera stays close to its characters. Hard to be a god is nihilism at its bleakest, a challenging yet unforgettable experience and a masterful addition to science fiction. Of course, the impeccable special effects speak for themselves, but 2001 A Space Odyssey is very much an example of slow cinema. It lacks a conventional narrative, often prefers silence, and shows rather than tells. The film is mind-blowing, so much so that it can feel overwhelming, but the patient viewer will be rewarded every time they revisit this visionary work. There will always be something else to consider about Kubrick's magnum opus, a tour de force that only gets better with age.